Hello everyone, and welcome to Trapped, a Unity horror game from the creator of a game that I actually played on this channel a few months back, titled From the Darkness. Now that was an exceptionally terrifying game that was able to do a whole lot with surprisingly few elements at its disposal, taking place entirely inside the confines of an old Soviet-era apartment building. Not even a building, most of it took place just in the one unit. Yeah, but using the darkness as a weapon, as the title implies, it was able to make that space feel so much bigger and so much more foreboding than it really was. Now some of you told me that this game existed after I played that, and it actually came out about a year and a half prior to that game. And I'm not sure if it's part of the same story. But I guess we're going to find that out as we go. All I know is that, uh, for as simple as this looks, this creator has done some amazing things with very little before. I've had nightmares like this. What could this place even be? Oh, it looks like however I got down here, it was sure a hard landing. Where is that light coming from? Oh, it's dangling right over my head. Oh, I was very eager to start walking to see if I could hear footsteps because there's... There's no sounds at all. Uh, can I crouch? No. Uh, what, what, what do I do? Uh, okay, I guess it's living up to its name so far, but uh, I paid four dollars for this. Hope there's more to it. Much obliged. Uh, but the journey's just beginning. I can't tell if that's soundtrack or a low growl. These lights must be attached to something, but whatever it is, I can't see it. What kind of place even is this? Uh, it's a weird contrast to the previous game, or I guess the later game, which took place in a very well-defined human structure. This looks like something else altogether. Oh no. Are we starting in with the maze-like elements? Oh no. I'm gonna need you to stop swaying, Light, so I can see inside, but... Uh... We, we, all, we all remember what happened in that other game when I leaned up close to a door that was ajar to see what was inside. Oh, come on. Okay, no, that's, that's the maximum amount of time I'm willing to spend on that. Uh, I think I was traumatized by that experience. I saw a shadow as I opened it that could just as easily have been from the door or from something quickly getting out of the way as I opened it. Uh... Monsters... I'm the one that's supposed to hide in lockers. Uh, the, the way the lights sway, it makes me keep anticipating movement. We can open that up, and open this from the other side. I guess we could have found it locked. Oh no. Oh no, we can hide inside! Uh, okay, keep one open. This means we're gonna be called upon to hide at some point. But we can't sprint! Only one way, then. Actually, if we're going to be running back from that way, 
which I don't know why we can't just put the wood back on. But let's open this side because we're going to want to instinctively whip around to this way. And hopefully if I wildly mash E, that will result in me saving myself. Then again, I am creating a smaller corridor for me to get through. Ambient sounds, what are you doing? Uh, combo lock, which I suppose we'll have to find the keys to. Combination, I mean. Perhaps amid the clutter? Oh, it's the room from the, from the menu. Locked. Okay, well, it looks like I have the means to rectify that. Am I perhaps doing this so I can unlock more avenues for me to escape through? Wait your turn, radio. Can't hide in here. Ah, oh, these shadows. These swaying lights keep creating all this movement that I see out of the corner of my eyes. I can hide in this one. You can block the door and hide in the cabinet! Why? 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 Hold this to, I guess, scan through frequencies. Have I done something wrong? Have I done something wrong? Oh, there's just a little sliver where I can peek out. can't see me through the crack, can they? Is it inside? I just heard a door open. Something's out there. Why else would I be able to hide? Oh, I can block both of these doors. That one has a wood beam as well. If I get to the end of you. Oh no. Nope, no, 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 no. Oh, that's terrifying. I, I know the something knocking on the door trope is, you know, something that a lot of things have done. But honestly, I really love it because it's just, it, it leaves you picturing what's on the other side. I still don't know what that's going to be. But I haven't been everywhere yet. This can be nothing but good. Okay, we can hide in this one. Can't hide in that one, but there's something there. This one totally in shadow and useless to us. Radio, lamp, bed, something else. Radio, lamp, bed, something else. Now we're just carrying that. Can't seem to get rid of it either. Okay, so presumably this is how we figure out the combo. But how do we... How do we associate a number with that? We heard a voice on the radio, but I couldn't understand it. Wait, have we been down this way yet? We gotta really make a note. Okay, lamp, there's number two. But no light bulb, which we'll have to find. Oh, it's like an escape room game with horror elements. We can hide in this one. We can unblock this one.
There's a bulb. Well, that was easy. And another hideable. Light on, and three. So the second number is three. But what does the radio tell us? Unless the number of beeps is the number. All right, we'll call that six. So we'll say six, three. I'm gonna assume the ones in line are it. I'm gonna assume it started as nine, 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 nine and not zero, 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 zero. Three, no, ah, this is a little confusing. Three, I just heard glass break, I need to hide. Right? I'll see the worst part is not knowing exactly what the mechanics are. Will it only be scripted moments where I'm called upon to hide, or is there actually something walking around all this time? Oh, I never opened this door. That leads to the other side. Alright, um... Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no! I, I still don't know what's in here with me yet. Uh. Okay, where are you at? No. Uh, where's the bed? It's possible that I already saw the bed and just didn't make a note of it. No, it came out of here. Who's living down here? What good does blocking the door actually do me? It was only at the moment that I closed that that I realized there could be something under the bed. Steps are constantly heard behind double doors. It's good that the chain weighs there. I'm trapped, but it's safe here. And what else do I need? These sounds behind the wall never seem to end. Someone else that was in this situation? Honestly, all you've informed me of is that I'm going into something possibly even more dangerous now. I can almost... I can almost see why you would do this. Why you would want to just stay here. But I'd personally never feel safe, always exposed with how high these ceilings are. There's got to be a hint here. Wait, there's a little, um, there's a little sound indicator next to the bed. I bet those bangings are a clue. Four. No, 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 shift, 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 shift. Okay, that is how I will know when I need to run. Is this what having anxiety is like? Just every once in a while you're told... It's it's like in the real life version of seeing the press shift to run prompt. Okay, four. Uh, which means we could brute force the last one. Oh, or you could just tell us. And now is when we hear the sound from beyond. Is that it? Or do I need to move it to the middle one? I think I had confusion with a similar puzzle in the uh, in the other game. Yep. Yep! Didn't expect it to fling open like that. Great. Great. Now we have another disturbing sound for our mind to conjure images of what it is. And we've lost the ability to sprint. 
If it happens again before we're ready, we'll have nowhere to go. Great, two locked doors. But only one that we can potentially do something about. I just can't get over feeling like there's something behind me and, more importantly, something above me. Heartbeat. Heartbeat and, uh, heartbeat and lockers. Two usable lockers. If it really wants to kill me, one of these days there will be something in one of those lockers when I need it the most. Is that something I need to worry about? Nothing of use here, except false hope. Can I close this? That one cannot be locked, but this one can. Hmm. There's a shadow of someone standing there. Uh, this may be one of those times where we're called upon to press shift to run. Can this one be blocked? It can. What is your head shape? Monkey. Monkey, monkey. Oh, and you gave me a key. Thank you, Thank you monkey. Wow, that was a good... Uh... That was a good thing. That was a very infra sense of humor. Okay, well, we have the key now. But why would this be there? Would we not be called upon to use it? I think another press shift is coming up. I'm not talking too much because I'm really, really anxious about what's going to be around the next corner. This this game is really simple, but... No! Ugh! Oh, come on! You can't do that! That is so stupid. You die, try again. You can't spin my view around. And then... Ugh. How do I try again? How do I try again? Hello? Restart. Okay, we're right here now. Was that part of the game? Or is this just how it handles dying and respawning? Uh, first I have to figure out where we even are. I think those might be the doors to where we came from, so this is right here. Do we have that lock? No, I have to go through all that again? Hi! I'm starting, you know what? I'm starting to think that death was part of it. That was not this way before. And I no longer have the key. I really don't want to go that way, but I can't lock it from this side either. And it's a dead end? No. Okay, I, I was like really, really annoyed with this game just now. But if that is indeed part of it, then that was really, really good, especially since they got me with a double tap on that monkey scare. I hear footsteps. By the way, that's going to be my new band name, is Double Tap Monkey Scare, or Monkey Scare Double Tap. You need to pick up fresh meat near the double doors. The key that I found with him, I put in one of the cabinets. Oh, maybe it's supposed to be I died, and now I'm someone else also waking up in this situation? Okay, you need to pick up fresh meat near the double doors. 
the key that I found with them, I put in one of the cabinets. I think he's really patrolling now. I think that's something we actually have to worry about now. No. No. Uh. Ah! Okay, is that telling me to not go near these? Because I'm gonna. Okay, no, I can hide in here. Okay. Don't try to deter me from a hideout. Why did it show me that? Is it because you're in here? Did I get too close? No. It's nerve-wracking. I can hear those footsteps everywhere. Which cabinets? Willing to bet this is the way that guy initially came from. Oh, does this mean that that guy is just hiding in one of these, ready to get me? Oh, oh, this is going to be difficult. Ah, oh, it's going to be one of these type of segments. can't. Uh. So the footsteps that I hear aren't you. Back to here. Uh, trapped in a maze with a killer. Have we been here before? I can't find where... I can't find what I'm looking for. Hi! Uh, monkey scare triple tap. <laughs> oh, I can't stay mad at this game. Okay, uh, the key was to that front door, but... How do I make my way back? He's surely patrolling again. Can you hear my footsteps? I hope not. No, there he is. I can't go that way. But I don't remember the way back either. I would have to... Okay, I think I came out through one of these ways. Maybe here? Yeah. might be what I need. But he could also come back the other way. Oh, I don't like this. I wouldn't have closed this door. Or, no, I did. I did, I did, I did. Just keep moving, just keep moving, just keep moving. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. You can swim a little faster. Come on. <laughs> I don't know if I'm actually in danger, so like, kudos to this game for creating that vibe. But this game has managed to feel difficult without actually, uh... Without actually doing anything to indicate that. Oh no, have I made a wrong turn? No, I don't think so, okay. Uh, closed door behind me, mainly so I'll hear it if it opens. And open, yes! Okay, let's go! Onward. Hopefully that's a checkpoint. Oh, another note. We explored all corners of this place. Except for the dark zone. You hear that breathing around the corner? We tried, but... No one came back from there. I was sent here to guard the entrance from stupid meat that wants to get there. Okay, what is the nature of the beings who inhabit this place? Rather, what is the nature of this place in general? 
two doors to the same spot. Oh, we can't go into the dark. But maybe we can find something to help us. My stupid meat, is it me? Oh, listen to that raspy breathing in there. We have the option of locking in whatever's there. But that's not gonna be... That's not gonna get me through. I may not have a choice. Ah, oh, it's making me do things I don't want to do. The easiest trope in horror, but one that so many of them neglect to do these days. I can hide in this one. A lighter. Are you something that inhabits this place, or are you something that... Are you someone that came down here? Is this my eventual fate? Alright, well, anyway, screw you. Why do I have a feeling you're actually like a friendly who would help me in my darkest hour? Can we use the lighter here? Now you must go into darkness. Okay. Can I can I can I flick on the light? I feel like any time that would be good. There we are. Uh it loaded a new segment in the dark, did it? Oh, it's gonna be one of these. Anything can see us. We can see nothing. Who's down there? Okay, suddenly extremely realistic sounds. I just have to push up. I just have to fight instinct and push up. I just have to go see what it is because it's not gonna... But that's getting harder and harder to do. Wow. The more I listen to, the less I want to... The more I listen to, the less I want to see what that is. Dude, you're not supposed to eat the paint. Okay, I'll happily move on. Keep going, keep going, keep going, just keep going, just keep going, just keep going. Don't make eye contact, don't make eye contact. This is just like walking in Brooklyn. So there were lights down here at one point. I'll have to open it from the other side. Oh no, please don't go all maze-like on me. The last thing I need is to be lost in the dark instead of just lost. No? Okay. Needless complexity? Awesome. Great in the chase. Actually, potentially great in the chase if I have to lose something rather than just outrun it. Oh no, that sort of indicates that I'm going to have to juke around something, too. That made noise. That made noise. 
And this whole thing was useless. So what do I do now? See, I was almost hoping to turn around and see, like, another brick wall. Okay, no, there we are. There, there it is. There it is. <laughs> see, because that, to me, that alleviates responsibility. When I know I'm not responsible for my own safety and I am in a scripted segment, I feel a little safer. Then again, like, I, I think a lot of it so far has been scripted, but it's been doing an excellent job of not making me feel that way. Like, I am responsible for my own safety and failing at it. Why are you telling me that I can turn my lighter off? Ah, there we are. Uh. Hey, bud. How was the paint? I mean... If it was good, I guess... I guess you don't need to worry about all those empty calories. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna be hitting the old dusty trail. Lock you in as I go. I've had the opportunity to lock each of them in as I went. Now, that's the intuitive thing to do. That's the smart horror protagonist thing to do. Which leads me to believe I'm being misled about their nature. Just gotta keep holding that W key. Because this will take a lot longer if I let my fear stop me from progressing. Oh, that's, like, actually even worse than the claustrophobia, having a little light in a big space. Okay, hug the wall. Well, listen to that. that ooh. Oh, no, 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 something's coming for me. Something's coming for me, something's coming for me, something's coming for me, something's coming for me. We gotta navigate more quickly. Oh, that's like that game, uh, what was that Japanese game from a million years ago? Uh, the one where, uh, the one where you could see through the eyes of the enemies, resulting in a lot of very, uh, very emergent scares. Uh, I think it was called Siren. I never played the game, but I played the demo on one of those, uh, PS2 demo discs. Yes, right here. I need to find the code! I mean, I need to find the code. Um, will those sight shacking things, will those, uh, Will those give me hints? Or do I just need to wander about in the dark? The ambient sounds cut off when I turn the lights out. No. Don't! You're tall. Uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, poke around. Is that cool? Uh, looks like somebody tried to climb their way out. I can see why they stopped. Oh, good lord. Um, okay. Uh, do you happen to have access to a code of any type? Uh... I walked along these corridors for hours, or even days, until a wall appeared behind me and I was trapped here. I'm very tired. Maybe I should just relax? Maybe the exit will appear, just like it disappeared! Hey. Hey, bud. Hey. Um... Look, you can tag along, that's cool, but, uh... You're gonna have to stop with the heavy breathing, right? Uh, I'm just gonna wait here, then. So things change in the darkness. When in doubt, just do that. Oh. I did that by accident. Uh, 
And we're back here. Actually, I say back here. Where is here? I just picked a direction and started walking. Is this the same tunnel as before, or is it a new one entirely? It said I need to find the code. How do I go about doing that? Was that sight check some kind of hint? Uh, you know what this is? This is sort of like a much more aggressively scary back rooms. Where the back rooms are more about unnerving this. This is the kind of thing where you really are afraid to progress around the next corner. It's dark, it's dank, it's wet. And there actually are things in here, but they never seem to kill us. At a certain point, we almost wish they would. Just so that it would be over. Yes, this is where we were before. Which means there's more that we'll have to do here, right? Or maybe it's just looping in on itself, I don't know. Yeah, that seems likely. Lights out. Now what is this? I am confused. Have we been here before? I, I just- I can't tell one place apart from another. Okay, here's the Triangle Contemplation Room. Does it matter where I turn off the light? Some of these doors I can't open. This I can hide in, but this actually looks kind of familiar. Or does it? There's like five assets in this game. No, uh, I keep pressing F when I mean to hit E. Uh. If we start seeing that door on the... Press F! Okay, I can use F to just kind of combat log. That's cool. All right. Useful to know, actually. <laughs> That's actually a really good uh, ability to have. Uh, and they've had me walking through these tunnels for so long without anything happening that when something actually finally does come out of the darkness like I previously expected, it's a total surprise. Ambient! I saw that. Ambient sounds, how nice of you to cut out. Hey. Hi. Uh, it's like I'm... It's like I'm just a figure in your little dollhouse, huh? Like a rat in a maze? Uh. Am I not meant to look at this? There was clearly something there. Uh, and we just end up back here. Okay, so is it a loop? My guy is gone. He's no longer here. Well, I guess this place has improved somewhat then. Can I knock down this stack? It started wobbling before. Come on. But I think next time I see that figure eating, I just need to run up and try and grab whatever that piece of paper is on the ground. Oh, run, run, run. Oh, I tabbed out, 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 I tabbed out. There's something in here. There's something in here! Run, 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 run. Okay, I need to keep out of your view. Uh, can't hide in any of these. Okay, you're gonna keep shuffling towards me. Uh, it's just absolute hostility where it's very gaze is painful. Presumably I can't let you touch me. Nope, no, 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 no. Uh, please let me sprint. I feel so trapped. Yes, you keep going that way. I get this. 
Whatever that little little thing the doohickey is. There's nothing else I can do, right? Everything else is open. I think I just have to grab them. I think I just have to grab them all. That's the name of the game now. But I have to check everywhere. It's probably it. This game just feels malicious. Like, everything feels so dirty and, like, I don't want to touch it. And normally, I don't like those, like, sort of cheap, like, zoom-in scares. But in this particular case, it works. We have a very slow-moving enemy, but we have to be spend time in its presence. And so it does this to sort of train you that, like, you just do not like this thing's gaze. I'll allow it in this instance. Now where? There's the triangle room again. Can't really quite remember what's what either. Are we getting near to the eater? These... These half-dead, blind clumps of meat roaming the dark labyrinths without purpose and meaning look so stupid. Are you still watching? And again, who is writing these? Another hiding spot. Monkey, if this were VR or Gary's Mod or something, I would take you with me. Sadly, it is not. Hey! But it's kind of like Gary's Mod. Hello, do you have something I need? <gasps> the key! You might as well be one of my earlier deaths. This whole thing is such a purgatorial nightmare. But I bet that was the key to that chest, and that means that um, if I can find the eater, I'll have two of these things. Probably one of them is uh, in the chest itself. Gotta always have my finger ready on the F key, though, in case something does emerge from the shadows. There's you, which means I believe the eater is at the end of this hall. I just gotta reach in and do it, and then immediately lights out. It won't... Did I get it? Yeah, I did. Okay. Yep. Alright. Away we go. Nope. Not what I wanted. Also not what I wanted. Let's use the safety triangle. Maybe that'll take us where we're going. Nope. There we are. Okay. Got your stuff. Let me in. And there is some kind of cipher. Oh, that'll be the padlock combo, which... Man, I don't even remember where that padlock is. I'm gonna start leaving doors open so that I know where I have and haven't been. There's gotta be two more things in here. And remember, we could always brute force the last one, even without finding what else we're looking for. This is the triangle room. We are going to have to learn how to navigate this as maze-like as it is, which I am really, really not good with. Hmm. No, now this is actually something we haven't seen before. Useful remains to be seen. So far, doesn't look like it. But there was one. There was one. And I think in this place we can safely close these doors because the clutter actually makes it harder to navigate. 
through here. It's gotta be, no, come on. Now this game delights in tormenting me. Hey, bud. You got sick of me wandering, did you? Well, that's all right, because I'm sick of wandering. Ah, oh, finally some progress. I've been at this for quite a while. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just snag that. That's all right with you. Thank you. Something three six one. So we can brute force it if we want to go back there. Wait, that door opens to brick. But we can see it from the other side. Hello, monkey. Amusing. Have any of these others given rise to new stuff? No. Well then, uh, I think even if there is another. Thing we can get, which the layout of this UI suggests that there is, we could just go for it, potentially. No. No. See, the thing is, I don't even remember how to get there. Will it not even let me get back until I found the last one? Could this be something new? I think it is. Dead end. Ah, here it is. Yes, finally. Okay, so that's four out of four. We can now figure it out! Uh, now all we need to do is get ourselves back to the location with the pillar, with the padlock. Uh, but before we do that, uh, in case we have to do it in a hurry, uh, let's learn this combo. So the first one is red, uh, which will be four... Alright, it's gonna be four, three, six, one. Four, three, six, one. I just have to away from your prying eyes. Try this again. Uh, when the UI doesn't fit in the container with you. What a way to get caught, huh? Oh, come on, there's gotta be a way to do this. Four, three, six, one. Four, three, six, one. door. That's good for me. Right? No, because that's the one that I just closed. It literally placed me right outside. Oh, come on. I, I, I don't know how to get back. Ah, here we are. All right. We're so close. For the- oh, of course there's a bunch of them! Of course there's a whole bunch of them! Uh, no. Uh, there's gotta be- there's gotta be some way through. Just don't look at them. No. No. We gotta reach that central pillar. That doesn't help. Oh, where is it? Where's it gone? It should be right here in the middle. This is so much bigger than it was before. This is so much bigger than it was before. Ah, oh, here it is. Finally, pure chance. Pure chance! Alright, uh... Four... Three, six, one. Thank you. Away we go. Goodbye, losers. <sighs> Hello? Uh, 
Oh, come on, no. I can still walk. Oh, you can't leave me like this. You can't just leave me in the dark like this, no. Come on! What the Christ? And the monkey bears witness to it all. So that was Trapped, and once again, another game from this developer that manages to do a whole lot with actually very little. It's actually, you know, I, I usually don't like maze games. Uh, I find them like kind of tedious and annoying. And towards the end, I do feel like it was a little bit too dependent on random chance and like, but you know, you could still navigate. Like, there was a method to the madness. I just didn't like the randomness of the teleportation, but you know, even then, I, I did actually really like that mechanic of everything changing around you while you were in the dark. And you actually had to kind of weaponize that. Something that I often talk about is that horror games have to have the perception of difficulty without actually being too difficult in order to remain scary. Because if it's too difficult, you're dying over and over, death becomes cheap, and you are it's just impossible to be scared anymore. You're just frustrated, and that's completely different. However... If you feel like you can just breeze right through and nothing's going to hurt you, then obviously you won't be scared of that. With this, it created a perception of difficulty by killing me early on. Hello, menu scare! Ah, oh, you weren't done yet. Um, bravo. And you know, I was going to say that guy got my lighter, but uh, given the state of everyone else we found, for all we know, that's what we looked like the entire time. But yeah, it created this perception of difficulty, of making it always feel like we were in control by saying like, okay, every once in a while we'll have to sprint, every once in a while we'll have to quickly turn our light out or hide in a locker. Oh look, you can barricade these doors. And I don't know how much that actually factored into gameplay, but it sure made me feel like I was going to have to keep all this in mind and take a proactive role in my own survival. And so whether I actually needed to or not, I certainly felt like anything could kill me at any moment. It also had some really, really nice sound design. I mean, we would constantly hear things all around us in this cramped, dark space that would just conjure all kinds of images, and uh, a lot of the time it didn't even give us the satisfaction of seeing what was making those noises. Which creates a real sense of dread, I think, not knowing, like, what it is that's in here with you. It was quite a bit more abstract than From the Darkness, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, and for what it was, I think this was a pretty exceptional experience. It, it did a pretty cool thing where it feels like every Unity horror game, but just doing it better. And for that reason, I think it's definitely worth playing, and if you like this, I definitely think you should check out my video on From the Darkness, or just play it yourself. I'll link both in the description. But if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to suggest that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game out for yourself, that link will also be in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. And one of these days, that next one is going to be the next game that's in development by this creator.